Today on Film Right, we talk LUTs because of the power of love. Welcome to Film Riley, so it takes mystery out of the effects and techniques. One of some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and I do have a few different methods for color balancing and grading my footage. We've talked about a few of them before. Most often, I'm inside of Red Giant's Magic Bullet Looks and Colorista, right inside of Premiere, but I've also used Film Convert, Resolve, Speed Grade, and so on, so I'm sort of all over the place with how I go about getting my final look. But there is one thing that I use often, regardless of what software or plugin that I'm in, which are LUTs, which also rhymes with butts, LUTs with butts, which is coincidentally the name of the album I've been working on. If you don't know, a LUT stands for lookup table and basically is the mathematical process of taking color or luminance value and adjusting it to a new value. So any LUT will see a color and adjust that to something else or saturate it or desaturate it, so on. It's basically a color preset. What's great about them is that they can work in almost any software. The downside is that you can't really dive in and adjust the details. So for instance, with Magic Bullet Looks, you have a color preset that once you apply it, you get a chain of how it was made and you can get in and refine all the small details of how it was made. With a LUT, you can only really adjust the intensity. As you can see, this episode's gonna be a lot of straightforward technical talk, so to add some sugar to the medicine for me, I'm gonna annoy the people in my office. Starting now. You can also use LUTs to load into different monitors or even to grade a live video, but that isn't what we're talking about today. We're just specifically going to be talking about post-production grading. And how do you use one? A lot of programs will come with their own set of LUTs, like Adobe Premiere. If you apply Illumetri to a clip, then you could go to Basic Color Corrections or Creative. In Basic Corrections, you have Input LUT, click this dropdown, and we have a few basic options for correcting specific cameras. This would be a correction, not a grade though. You can also browse for LUTs on your system if need be. And then in creative, you have this drop down next to look. Here you'll find LUTs for a grade to give it style. And all of these are LUTs that come built into Premiere. And unlike the selection in basic control, you can adjust the intensity to the look on the drop down. My favorite from this list is Kodak 5205. One second. Oh. Yeah, man? What are you doing? Are you pooping? Are you pooping in there? Is this bothering you? Are you able to perform with me here? Or is it like a burgling situation? Thing is, you've been in there for a while, it's a little suspicious. And now you're silent, which is concerning me a little bit. Are you okay? Please go away. You can also use third-party software to handle LUTs like Magic Bullet Looks. In here, you drop in the LUT selection and then can select one of their LUTs from the dropdown or import one from your system. And just like the creative section in Lumetri, you can select the intensity here, but again, almost any software that can handle color grading will have a way for you to use a LUT or a plugin that you can get that will allow you to use it. And it all operates pretty much the same way. For me, I rarely use the built-in LUTs for anything, but there are a ton of really great LUT packs that you can buy. Recently, I purchased a new set of LUTs, which I have been using like crazy from this website right here. They're really solid looks with like 200 LUTs for only 25 bucks. I have nothing to do with them whatsoever. I don't know who made this. I don't have any contact with them. I just really dig the pack. One cool thing about their site is their LUT previewer. You go here, drag and drop an image, and then you can preview all their LUTs with an intensity fader to see how you like them. But once you buy this LUT pack or whatever other you might like, the way to set them up in Premiere so that you can get them into the creative dropdown menu is by grabbing the dot look files from your LUT folder, then go to your program files, Adobe, Premiere Pro 2015, Lumetri, Looks, Cine Looks, then copy all of those into that folder and restart Premiere if you already had it open. Of course, that is for PC, but there are instructions for a Mac as well if you buy the pack. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, it's locked. Better use your key. Better use your key to get in. That's how you get indoors is by using a key. Use your key. You have a key. Use it. Use it. Put it in. Turn it. Turn, turn, turn. You can do it. Oh no! Did your key not work? Oh, it's probably real hot out there too, huh? That's awful. How do you get in? Your company. Try your key again. Use your key. How do you own a business? 
If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, or innovator, Domain.com is the place to go when the next idea hits you. I know you've probably heard it before that the list of available domain extensions is growing, but you now have the opportunity to name your site and build your brands in ways that were never before possible. Choose from a list of 400 plus domain extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices when you get domain names, web hosting, and email. Just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at Domain.com's checkout. When we think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. And we're back. So now that we know what a LUT is and how to use it, let's take a look at how I use it in a practical situation. To do this, we're going to take a look at the grade for our last sketch, this one. So after I had my edit complete, I'll go through adding Lumetri to each clip individually to balance everything together. This is my color correction pass. I do this to match shots so if one is darker than the other, I'll balance those out and get them to match and blend well together. Then once I've done this, I will add my LUT as an overall grade to the whole scene, which I will do in a second. Uh-oh! You guys, I caught an idiot that's right a, in the hall. That's not even clever. He's big, too. So right-click in your project bin, select new item, then adjustment layer. Then drag and drop that above everything else in your timeline. Then we're going to add another instance of Lumetri to the adjustment layer. And since we installed all the LUTs that I bought, when I click the drop down here in Creative, we have a ridiculous amount of options to choose from, with some identifiers to help us out. Like here, the letter C is going to mean cold, W is warm, H is hot, F is film, X is for creative. Of course, this is for the specific pack that I bought, but it's still very helpful. But usually, I will just cycle through until I find something that I like, then I'll select the intensity and use the tools inside Lumetri to dial everything in, adding a touch of faded film and sharpening, adjusting the saturation and vibrance to my liking, and so on. And now with the grade on, I can go through again and be able to select the clips individually to refine and balance between the shots even more. Hey man. Hey. Brought you some coffee. What's in it? Coffee. Just coffee. Oh yeah. Thanks buddy. You're welcome. That's not even annoying, it's just mean. Back to balancing, if we look at this shot here with the grade on, it's looking a touch too hot on Eris' skin to me, so I'll select the clip to adjust this one individually. I'll go into basic correction and pull down the highlights a bit to soften that. And there we go, and I'll continue to do it this way until I have what I'm looking for, but now I have a nice, cohesive overall style to my image and I'm still able to get in and color correct each clip individually where needed. So I end up with something that is still feeling more together and it helps me get there quicker. What is that? I think it's a raccoon. You think it's a raccoon? But that's it for today. To check out the LUT packs that I was using in this episode, check out the notes below. And I'll see you guys next week when they take away my bird suit. anymore.